Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. Today I'm going to discuss about the different tools available to diagnose your R129 or any other old Mercedes pre-1998 that Mercedes uh, switched to using OBD2 digital uh, diagnostics. Hey guys, I have important information over here that I would like to share with you. I have been researching for the past three weeks on how to diagnose the easy way, the hard way, and the efficient way any old Mercedes from 1980s to 1998 that Mercedes switched to digital uh, diagnostics or OBD2 diagnosis. Please keep watching this video to the end because this is going to be very informative if you are trying to diagnose your Mercedes. So as you might know from my channel, I do have my adapter for 38 pin over here and I can use my OBD2 scanner using this, but this device only gives me a very limited modules diagnostics. So for example, for roof diagnostics for my 1994, I cannot use this device at all, although I have a 38 pin converter. On the other hand, I have the SD Connect 3 Mercedes Star Chinese Knockout. And that's a great tool for scanning OBD2 cars like a CLK or a post-1998 car. But unfortunately, the HTT module on a Chinese knockout uh, SD Connect C3 or C4 might not work and did not work for me. So that only leaves me with one choice. The trusty old version of Blink diagnostic tool that you can make it yourself with only using three uh, three short wires, an LED light, and a resistor. So today I'm going to show you how to quickly make this uh, LED blink system for yourself without even buying it because I could not uh, find a link to eBay for buying this device. So I tried to build it myself and diagnosed my R129 finally. So actually I was able to clear codes on my uh, roof module using this device that the star, the Chinese SD connect couldn't do as well as the OBD converter and scanner. So for the MB star you might have a different year uh, Mercedes and this might work, the Chinese knockout might work on uh, for you but Pre-1995, the chance is rare that you get the MB Star and the Chinese knockout work on your old Mercedes. So basically the red is will be connected to your positive battery or pin number three on your uh, 38 pin uh, connector and it goes directly to the positive of the LED. Or if you don't have a 12 volt LED, it goes directly to the resistor, maybe a thousand ohm or uh, something above 300 ohms, between 300 and a thousand ohm, and then feeds the LED. The green is will be going to connect it to your pin, uh, test pin, which is going to be negative, and it goes directly to the negative uh, side of your LED, and then the switch will be only used between negative which is pin number one on your 38 pin and if you connect the test pin to the negative for three to four seconds you will start the diagnostic or flashing or blinking or if you connect between six to eight seconds to the negative you will start clearing the codes after viewing the code so you can have a switch which is much better but i rather to keep it as simple make sure you don't connect this to anything else 
Here, this is the 38 pin connector for the, for the 1994 Mercedes. And basically you need pin number three to be red and, and pin number one is negative, pin number three is positive. And this is your testing pin. And for example, I know 21, number 21 pin is the roof module. And if you wanna diagnose your roof module, you can connect that to pin number 21, as you can see over here. And then if you switch on your ignition to this position with the engine off, if you basically connect the green wire to white wire for three seconds, three, you will start getting the flashes. So one flash means no fault. And you can, if you want to clear that code, let's say you have fault code number two, which is low voltage, you can connect this six to eight seconds to the white wire right after receiving the fault. And one by one, you can clear the fault codes. Just one more point to mention, you need to clear the fault codes one by one and it's not possible to clear them all together. So after viewing each code, you can clear only that code. Here is the layout of the 8 pin connector. As you can see, you can uh, pause the video and have a look for yourself. Number 1 is ground, number 2 is not used, CFI is 3, EDS and ELR for diesel cars are number 4, AST and Formatic number 5, SRS number 6, number 7 is aircon and number 8 is not used. Uh, okay, 16 pin connector is also used on R129 models and as you can see I have highlighted number 10 RSC module and basically you can diagnose your R129 using the 16 pin with the same method without having any tools. For diagnosing the roof module on R129 with 16 uh, pin connector you don't even need a uh, a blink test system you, you only need to ground your number 10 so one number one pin to number 10 pin and then simply watching this button soft top button blinking for you also here i have the fault codes for 1994 to 1996 soft top faults that you can pause the video and have a look for yourself i had the error code number two four six and seven which I cleared them off and I didn't get them back. Also, these are for the roll bar RST module for R129. These are the fault codes. You can also pause the video and have a look at these fault codes. Okay, now if you need the layout for the 38 pin connector. So 38 pin connector has too many modules. And as you can see, I have highlighted the ones for M119 engine. So for example, one is ground, two is voltage terminal, three is a 12 volt positive battery, four is mostly MESFI and LHSFI, uh, five is for engine M120. Uh, and as you can see, you can freeze uh, the video to have a look at these number pin numbers and the and the corresponding modules that you can actually diagnose using the related pin here are the rest of the modules the 38 pin layout i have highlighted everything for r129 and m119 engine you might also want this for your w140 or W210 and as you can see I have them all over here for you if you want just pause the video and have a look for yourself okay guys thanks so much for watching this video please if you like it please hit the like 
and subscribe button if you haven't done so. Thank you so much and have a great day.